So Jeep called us up and they said, we want you guys to do something really cool with our new pickup truck, the Gladiator. They built this thing for the outdoorsmen. It's supposed to be for your mountain biking guys and dirt bike guys and jet skiers and all that stuff, but that's not what we really do. No, Dave and I don't really get time to go do that because we're always working on old trucks and old 4x4s. So ironically, right before this showed up, I was talking to a buddy of mine and I bought an old Jeep truck. Red. So, because I needed another project. <laughs> yeah. So like we're going to take this thing and we're going to build it into an old Jeep truck rescue truck. A tow truck. Kind of a tow truck, yeah. That'll be red. Um, but we got to change it up. Like the truck that I'm looking at is way out in the middle of nowhere. So we got to be able to four wheel to it. Luckily, they sent us a Rubicon. Unluckily, they sent us a black one. So we make it a bright color. We do winches on it and some sort of make it drag a truck out of the woods thing. Yeah, bigger tires, nicer wheels, a lift kit, winches and a bright color. All right, let's get to it. What do you think of the wrap, Dave? I like it. It's, it's really blue. It's way better than black. I like the blue. I don't, I like the orange. I like yellow sometimes. You don't like the stripes, do you? Oh, no, nah. I mean, they're all right, but let's go to Hazard Fab. Luke and the dudes are pretty cool. Let's lift this thing and make it super off-roadable and make it so it'll drag out some old junk from the woods because you always seem to buy that stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> we are at Hazard Fabrication, and this is where we're going to do the build on the Gladiator to make it into this adventure tow truck that we've been talking about. It's going to be a pretty basic build, but that's really all a Rubicon truck needs to make it even better. We're going to do a lift kit, put 38 inch Falcons on. We're gonna add lower gears to the axles to make up for that bigger tire. And then we're gonna put a winch bumper on the front and a winch on the front. And then we can drag whatever truck we find back out and off the trail. All right, so a couple of the guys from Hazard Fab are helping us out. Scott and I are gonna tear into the rear end and work on the gears. There's another guy named Dylan that's hanging out with Dave and they're working out some of the fabrication ideas for the truck. So one of the things we need to do on the Jeep is build some sort of wrecker boom or a, tow, a towing boom, basically. So we got a winch to go in the bed of the truck. We got up there and took some rough measurements, and then he came over and drew it up on the computer. So we got some quarter inch plate. We're about to start cutting out the main base plate for where this winch is going to mount to. Okay. Check it out. It's the beginning of a big boom truck winch plate thingy. This is the rear axle shaft out of the Gladiator, and it's a Dana 44 by name, but it doesn't seem to be a Dana 44 by comparison to the old Dana 44s. Uh, the spline counts, I counted out to 32 spline. Notice how the axle shaft necks up and necks up. Like at this end, it looks like Dana 60 thickness, um, and it's held in by a bearing retainer. It's not a C-clip axle. so. This is a pretty beefy, pretty beefy axle shaft for in the back of this truck, which is cool because we were going to put big tires on it and we don't want to break. So this is the base plate for the boom and winch setup that we're making. Right now we're in the process of getting the winch mount itself like up here at this wild angle so that when it's all put together, the cable will go up to the boom and not like bind in the fair lead. So Dylan is over there making up some brackets and I'm going to clean this up so we can weld it all together. Day two of the Gladiator Action Adventure Dirt Dead Truck Rescue Machine. I dig it. What are you doing back here in the bed, Dave? Um, we built this thing yesterday. It's the winch mount for the whole boom system. It's kind of taken longer than expected, but today I got to build like a whole stinking roll cage back here and then this boom contraption and this pulley thing and it's going to end up dragging all your dead junk home. Sweet. We can use this to go pick up 14 bolts and engine blocks and all dead jeeps that we find out in the woods. Um, Scott got the rear end and front end the gears in. We put the axles back together. 